What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And today we're starting off with a little bit of story time. I'm not gonna, tr I'm gonna try not to drag it out too long, but I do like talking, so there's, it's one thing that happens every now and then. So I was trying to get my hands on and find a supplier for these. These are eight times PCI splitters. You plug them into a full size PCI Express slot, and then it gives you eight slots out for. Uh, USB risers. This is not a USB hub. This actually splits PCI Express lanes with one of these bad boys. That's a PLX chip, a switching chip. So these things are really, really cool. But I reviewed this one actually multiple two years ago, something like that. Oh, my cat's jumping in my lap. Um, and I, I did not have great luck with them. So I figured maybe I'd revisit them now, see what they were up to, see what kind of price they were. Well, anyway, Earlier this year, they were on Amazon, and they were about 200 to 250 bucks. Not exactly cost-effective, but, I mean, you know, it, it. maybe I could find them cheaper. I can't find them anywhere. So I was like, there's no need for me to review dead hardware uh, as, like, a recommendation for, yo, go buy these, and you can get eight PCI Express slots, but you can't buy them anywhere. It's like, nah, yeah. So then I started branching out and looking, and I have done a couple videos on the uh, PCI Express four times splitters. A lot of people were buying USB hubs and not actually splitters, so uh, I kind of sent people in the right direction. A lot of people have touched on that. That's that's awesome. That's cool. Some motherboards will let you run two of those. Some won't. So that was kind of you know a limiting factor on a lot of them. Um, and then I stepped up and found these. Um, it's basically you run a giblet on your motherboard, and then you run a, a USB out to this, and it's like a daughter board. You run six pin power here it's got a plx switching chip right there and then you have four risers going out so it was a different setup than the original one so you could uh leave essentially one usb giblet inside your computer run a usb cable out and have all this stuff on the outside of your actual rig this cat is just not working with me today come on buddy uh, leave me be give me a little second we're gonna record a video and then i'll love all over you um but so this was pretty cool, but it didn't add any functionality. Um, so I was like, well, I kept digging, kept digging. Anyway, I come across a USB six times splitter. So currently right now it is in my mining rig over there. Um, I am running it inside of a old i5 2500K system, an old system, because I'm like, you know, use case scenario. Somebody doesn't need this on a mining motherboard. They need it for a motherboard that only has one slot or two slots. Um, it is a times four slot on the bottom, and I'm actually going to cut to uh, the video where we go put it in. So let me let me cut to that. See, all this that I'm doing right now, I pre-recorded it with the card, and I was holding it before I actually installed it. And that video got butchered. It got butchered pretty bad. I was recording all of it while I was still mining in the background, so the video is like out of sync, and the audio is all messed up. So that's why I'm re-recording it now. And now Simba's not leaving me alone. So let's cut to that clip now. Be right back. All right, guys. So I have an old Asus motherboard. You can actually see it tells its age because it's got some PCI slots on there. That's those light blue, big old long slots. Those are uh, basically, that's an antiquated technology not even being used anymore. Um, but I'm running an eight times splitter currently on it. And I'm running six cards. This rig does go down, uh, I'd say, for about 10 to 20 minutes every single day. And if I just even get my finger close to that chip right there, like, I don't even, I'm not even touching it, and it's, it's like, it's hot. That little PLX chip is so hot. Maybe that's hot enough to where it ain't happy. Um, I know some components definitely don't put up with heat like, like others, so. Um, I'm gonna pop this one out and get the new one installed, and just show you what's involved all right so we got her plugged in it's got a little green led that comes on the fans on i was actually gonna uh, I've, it's been running for the last i don't know 15 or so minutes i was gonna see if i could see what this heat sink was running at 43c okay so it's it's definitely running cooler than no heat sink um let me see the back side. Sometimes the back side of the PCB will be hotter. I should have tested the back side of that other one. Oh, 46C. Yeah, so it looks like it's running about 10 degrees Celsius lower. It's hard to believe that that little heat sink does anything, but I guess 
uh, anything's better than nothing. Um, so all I did is I powered everything down. I plugged that into the main slot, put all my risers into it. This motherboard has no mining settings or above 4G decoding, nothing like that. This was was uh, was pre all that stuff. Um, this is actually a Sandy Bridge chip. I believe it's an i5 2500K, so super old uh, by today's standards. Let's go log in on Hive and see what it's doing. All right, and with the power of YouTube magic, we're back. Fast forwarded in time a couple days. This rig has been up for two days and 18 hours. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, minor uptime. Um, I do have two 570s, two 5500s, and then a 3070 and a 2080 Ti. So uh, a, a good range of different cards all on this motherboard. This is an old uh, Intel Core i5 2500K. Uh, recommended Sandy Bridge or newer, but um, there hasn't been any people that said it didn't work on, on older stuff. So uh, I don't know. That's kind of a toss up. Uh, but if you have anything made like within the last eight, nine, ten years, you should be fine. Um, what was it? There was something else I wanted to. Oh yeah, probably the one of the best things I did notice about this is BIOS settings. You don't need to do any BIOS settings. You don't have to do anything special other than plugging it in and plugging the cards in and then booting it up. It finds them. It puts them on there. On Windows, I noticed uh, you do have to restart it like one or two times while it's finding the cards and installing the drivers. So, But Hive picked them up initially right away. No issues there. I am waiting. I have some more of these coming in. And I'm planning on trying to max out my X99 motherboard. It has four full-size times 16 slots. And I'm going to put one of these six-card splitters in each one of them. And I'm shooting for a 24-card rig. I don't think it's possible, but it's worth a try. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are interested in, in these, uh, a buddy of mine, Carbon Mining Parts, he's just spinning it up. Um, he's got a good inventory of these coming in. Uh, batch 1 is supposed to ship out in like a week and a half. So if you do want to grab one, I'll put the link down below. And uh, obviously, it does help me out. So if you don't want to grab one, don't use the link. Um, my coupon code is BrandonCoin. Put that in to get 10%. And I think that code's good for the next week from today. Um, and it is, what is today? What is today? Uh, October 3rd. So um, grab them while you can. I know I'm going to be grabbing a couple more because I don't have any spare motherboards. Uh, not mining motherboards, but I do have some spare, you know, like old junk machines. Um, I, I know I'm going to grab, I got one of these coming for my brother. Uh, we're going to put a six card splitter into his Lenovo machine. So turn that into a, a six card rig. It'll be a good time. Anyway, guys, I'm going to hop off of here. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're going to grab one and um, what kind of extra stuff you're going to do. I can't wait to try and put multiple of these in the system. I was even thinking... And I don't think it'll work because, um, oh, that's another thing I didn't mention is it doesn't run off of a times one slot. It runs off of a times four slot. So you can put it in a times eight or a times 16, but you can't put it in a times one slot. That's a times one slot, for example. Um, so yeah, you won't be able like on an H110 Pro BTC, the only slot you could put it in on that motherboard would be the full size 16 slot. Uh, but I was curious, would I be able to put one in on that times 16 slot, run six cards off that, and then use the other 12 times one slots in addition to that? Would I be able to get, was what would that be, 12, 6, would that be 18 GPUs? Is that possible? I don't know. I'm going to actually try that out coming up here soon. So stay tuned, guys. Peace out. See you on the next one. Uh, later. All right, so now for everybody that stayed till the till the end, what is up? Hope everybody's having a great one. Um, the old Jellyfish Gang, it's nice to see you guys. And you know what? We're going to induct some new people into the Jellyfish Gang. So if you're new here and you don't know about the Jellyfish crew, um, basically back in the day, it started off where I was like, if you got super to the end of the video, I was like, yo, everybody comment Jellyfish down below. So that way new people or people that don't watch the video all the way through have no idea what you're talking about. And you know what? I want you guys, if you didn't know what it was, now you do. Comment Jellyfish down below. And if you're new, just drop Jellyfish new at the end. So that way I know we got some new members coming in. So 
I'm glad to have you. And every now and then I'll just have a little jelly talk at the end of a video, kind of catching you up on things. At the moment right now, I don't have any GPUs coming in. I still plan on expanding the farm, but I'm kind of at a crossroads because, you know, profitability wavered a little bit. It's actually right back up. Um, so I, I don't know. It's one of those things I want to buy cards, but cards are still way too expensive. Um, I'm street prices around me in North Carolina for like Founders Edition 3070, 3060 Ti, they're all north of $1,100, $1,200. I haven't seen anything under 1000 I was buying them at around $800 uh, like a month and a half ago, a month ago on the last Best Buy drop. But the current one, I was I was watching Marketplace and I was expecting, you know, you know them to pop up for 1000 and I can talk them down to 900 or 800 But they're popping up for $1,200, $1,300 and people are, they're firm. They're not even budging. So I'm like, holy smokes, like this is never going to. I'm never going to, I'm not paying no $1,300 for a 3060 Ti FE, even though I do love those graphics cards, the prices are just getting, getting absolutely crazy. So, um, comment down below also, and I'm curious, is your guys local area, is it pretty much dry on, on GPUs or are you able to find anything? Uh, I noticed eBay is pretty much, it's a barren wasteland other than scalpers. It's just all scalpers. Um, so yeah. Uh, I was looking into the full builds, like buying pre-builds for GPUs. Haven't found any deals on those. So uh, at the moment, I am stuck. I'm at 2.2 giga hash, and it looks like I'm going to be at 2.2 giga hash until I can find some deals. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, always fun to catch up with you guys at the end, kind of a little behind the scenes. So other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.